everyone, Matt from Doctors Running here doing a finally a Q&A with the ASICS Nusa Tri-13. This has been a really exciting shoe. I really enjoy getting some miles on this and as everybody, the rest of the team jokes around, I love seeing if I can run and choose sockless. This is definitely one of, what, one of the ones that has worked very well for that. So let's dive into a couple other questions that were on here. So there was uh, some great individuals asked kind of like, what the, what is the ride like? And it's definitely a little on the firmer side. It's, it's a max cushion shoe. There is, they're not, ish there's a good amount of material here far more so than previous Nusa Tri models it's been a couple years since I've run fully in a pair I've tried a couple on like the last two versions but it's been since I think version 10 that I really put it on and put some miles in it so definitely a different ride flexibility is this is not a flexible ride it's a rocker stiff but surprisingly fast ride I think I was really impressed that given how much shoe there is this thing can move so Purpose-wise, I think for a lot of people, this is obviously a triathlon shoe, a triathlon racing shoe that'll work well for long distances, say marathon, definitely half marathon. A lot of people may find that if they want something a little bit extra, that this may work well for a lot of people as a 10K shoe, especially like if you're coming from something like the Gel Nimbus, that's a little heavier, a little softer, this easily could be your 10K half marathon race shoe. A lot of people, it's going to be a little far it could go a little bit farther than that given there's a good amount of cushion underneath here but yeah not a ton of flexibility here very stiff ride a lot of toe spring very different than previous models that had a little more more flexibility to the forefoot so redesign ride very similar to our reviews of the glide ride and evil ride 2 same technology that they're putting in here in terms of the this large toe spring there is even a little bit of heel bevel so this is actually smoother than a lot of previous versions of the tri uh the Nusa Tri, which is why I didn't run in them because it was a little aggressive and not very well beveled. Here there is a little bit, but still overall quick ride that definitely, uh, you can use it for training if you're used to light, used to training in lightweight trainers, but most people are gonna use this as a little more up-tempo shoe. And I mean, from looks at it, this thing is clearly meant to go fast. I mean, it's hard to run slow in this. And I, I have used it for easy runs. Um, I've used it for long tempo efforts, fart legs, workouts. Haven't used it on trails as the sole is pretty, um, I wouldn't say slick, there's good traction, but it's not meant for trail use. Sole is pretty smooth. Traction's best for road. Traction's really good on wet. Actually, I've, we had some fortune to have to train, I had some fortune to train in the rain actually the rare moment here in Southern California and traction was great. No slipping, gripped well. So definitely a really good triathlon shoe. And then the fi you know, one of the biggest important things that everybody makes fun of me for is, yeah, I have worn sock, I have this worn the shoe sockless. I have not in the 60 to 70 miles I put on the shoe, have not put on socks a single time. So I did on my left side, get a little bit of chafing on the heel, uh, right in the Achilles. But that was after like a, that's, it happens more after like 10 to 14 miles. So I had that happen on a 14 mile run that was also an up-tempo effort. But outside of that, nothing through the front of the foot. It's been great. So I might suggest if you're gonna use for a race and you're doing sockless, take the heel, the Achilles a little bit. But outside of that, it's been wonderful. Doesn't smell bad, which I am super impressed about. That's a rare feature. So very impressed ASICs on the design of this upper. There is actually a lot of room in this shoe. I was really impressed because again, I assumed with a try to be a little snugger, not have as much room. There's actually a solid amount of toe box room here. So those people like to let their foot splay out a little bit. Really good for this. Um, somebody asked, does the shoe fold? So it does, there is a heel counter here. Um, but the midsole has like zero flexibility. So this is about as much as things are gonna fold. So hopefully that answers that question in terms of foldability. Upper is pretty flexible, but secure. It does lock you down really well. The heel counter is pretty flexible too, so you can move it and it hasn't bothered me at all wearing it sockless. Great, the laces have stayed locked in really well, not had any issues with those. And as always, the ASICS logo does help with lockdown. So it's been a really fun shoe. I was really, really impressed because it's been a couple years since I really put an ASICS uh, Nusa try on and I'm really impressed with what they did. Again, like I said, it's got a slightly wider fit that I didn't expect, but accommodates, you know, normal width feet well and I think slightly wider feet um, will do just fine in this. Those with narrower feet, you're going to probably have to lock down the upper a little bit, but it's still very secure. And the ride is quick. 
I, one of the first days I took this out, I was like, I'm gonna pick up the pace, see what happens at like a mile up tempo and it was uphill and it was great. I was really impressed with how fast this goes. But know again that there's plenty of firmer cushion in this, so you should have plenty of protection. I've taken this 14 to 15 miles without socks, without any pounding issue, it was great. Very rockered, very efficient in the front half. The heel bevel's better. There is a little posterior flare. It's really not that bad, but yeah. And also like eye catching, like the, I normally don't comment on the colorway of shoes, but I love this thing. I've worn it, uh, probably shouldn't have done this, but in clinic a few times and uh, at teaching and got some looks. Uh, definitely had, I, th I think a new rule created because of me at Stanford University saying we have to be a little more careful with what uh, color footwear we wear. So, uh, my bad, but totally worth it. The The colorway is awesome. So kudos to ASICs. And the Tri-Series has always done that really well. So yeah, again, a definitely a triathlon shoe that can be worked for a variety of people, not just people who do triathlons. It's going to work really well racing-wise for like your longer distance. So your marathon, I think there is enough here for marathon distance for a lot of people. I think based on the firmness and the speed, I think this is going to be a really good half marathon shoe. Yeah, there's a small amount of cushion, but the firmness and the protection is going to allow a lot of people say, again, if you're running in something like the Nimbus or a little more cushion there, it is fairly stable, by the way. I'm really impressed again. I think that's just the design of the shoe is it rockers you forward. There's a little bit more width here. No arch support, no, no posting, but definitely a stable, like a neutral stable, neutral plus stable ride. So yeah, a lot of people are gonna be able to come to the shoe as like a half marathon racer for a lot of people that, again, for someone like myself, I would use this for a much longer distance as a lightweight trainer. I'd probably use like a, like the hyperspeed or something like that, or the meta racer. A lot of people that's too aggressive for it. This is gonna be a great shoe for that purpose and it will certainly get you noticed. So yeah, really liking this shoe, really looking to, do a, to doing our full multiple tester review on this. So come back soon and we'll have that fully.